Good Friday evening and welcome to the NCW Life Evening News. I'm Grant Olson. Before we get to today's top news stories, let's take a quick look outside our weather window. And today, a nice one out there. Even though we did see clouds roll in throughout the day, beautiful shot from our SkyFi Tower camera, Apple Annie's camera overlooking Kashmir. And you can see things are greening up nicely out there all across north central Washington. It might even green up a little more because we do have a little bit of rain in our forecast. A lot of that will miss us here in north central Washington. You can see the big bear spot right in the middle of that map. Most of the rain around us, Ellensburg, Yakima, and then uh, uh, farther east into the Spokane area. So maybe some sprinkles here in the Wenatchee area. That's about it. And then by the time we get into our Easter weekend, we are talking beautiful weather. We'll have that forecast for you coming up a little bit later on. And now a few of the stories we're following for you tonight. A bill that would qualify hydropower projects for state sales tax exemptions was approved by the Senate Ways and Means Committee on Thursday. Governor Jay Inslee signed off on a bill sponsored by 12th District State Representative Keith Gaynor during a ceremony in Olympia yesterday. And Chelan County Commissioners say they're getting closer to establishing new controls on vacation rentals. But first we begin tonight, a Peshastan man has been arrested for slashing the tires on two Chelan County Sheriff's Office patrol cars. 35-year-old Caleb C. Yeomans allegedly used a pocket knife to puncture the rear tires on the cars Monday while deputies were inside a home off Blewett Pass. The sheriff's office said dash cam footage showed Yeomans with a pocket knife near the cars. Yeomans was arrested Wednesday on suspicion of two counts of second-degree malicious mischief. That's a Class C felony. He's being held at the Chelan County Regional Justice Center. Well, a bill that would qualify hydropower projects for state sales tax exemptions was approved by the Senate Ways and Means Committee on Thursday. Introduced by Senator Brad Hawkins, the bill would save Chelan, Grant, and Douglas PUDs more than $22 million over the next 10 years on machinery and equipment when replacing generating units. Hawkins said it's time for hydropower to enjoy benefits available to other renewable energies. So this bill that is before us today is a bill about uh, a fundamental issue of fairness and equal treatment. Uh, our state prides itself in being leaders in clean energy, and we extend tax preferences to everything but hydropower. Um, wind, solar, geothermal, biomass, tidal, you name it, but not hydropower. And hydropower, um, provides a significant amount of reliability in our system and actually is a, is a big supporter of the new non-hydro renewables. And we wouldn't really be in a position as our state to even contemplate the possibilities of having a 100% uh, clean electricity uh, ability without hydropower. Chelan PUD General Manager Steve Wright said PUDs are facing significant investments as they replace aging components. Hydro, however, most of the hydropower uh, in this region was uh, developed in between the 1930s to 1970s, and that means it's aging. While the concrete is solid, everything that moves from turbines to generators to spillway bays must be refurbished. These are massive investments that operate in a competitive environment. Millions of hours of labor will go into these projects, primarily in rural counties in our state. Recently, Chelan PD and the National Hydropower Association released a white paper that, uh, about securing the future of hydropower. Uh, that lays out six strategies to help assure hydropower capacity is retained and even expanded. Among these strategies is the importance of assuring parity, not superior treatment, but equal treatment to other renewable resources in the world of public policy making. And that includes state policy with regard to tax treatment. Hawkins' bill now goes to the Senate Rules Committee before a full Senate vote. Governor Jay Inslee signed off on a bill sponsored by 12th District State Representative Keith Gaynor during a ceremony in Olympia yesterday. The measure makes any property sold by a county treasurer in a tax lien foreclosure sale to be sold, quote, as is. 
House Bill 1634 will expand the language in state law to ensure anyone buying property in foreclosure knows there are no implied warranties. It's the first piece of legislation introduced by the first-term House representative. He says the law will protect local governments from litigation by purchasers who are unaware of restrictions on the foreclosed parcels. Gaynor added, in today's uh, economy, with many people turning houses and buying fixer-uppers, this is much-needed legislation. The bill takes effect 90 days after the regular session adjourns. Chelan County Commissioners say they're getting closer to establishing new controls on vacation rentals. Conflicts over noise, traffic and parking have increased over the past several years in the Lake Chelan and Leavenworth areas as more and more homes are being listed online on sites such as VRBO and Airbnb. We're told that there are between 1,500 and 2,000 just in uh, uh, Chelan County itself. And most of those, uh, of course, are concentrated in, uh, in our two districts. Um, that number, I'm sure, will eventually go down. Uh, whenever you have an industry like this, uh, people see all kinds of money and they don't see the problems that come with it. Uh, but there will be, uh, when they're all through, there will most likely be a very viable uh, community. Probably not that number, but uh, um, supplying needed uh, housing for people both in, in District 3 and 2. England says the planning process has been slower than we wanted it to be. He says the challenge is creating a set of rules that adequately address nuisance issues without adversely affecting tourism and the thriving vacation rental industry. Coming up next, wildfire training in parts of Chelan County will cause some smoky skies tomorrow. The Chelan County Volunteer Search and Rescue Organization will conduct field exercises from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. tomorrow in the Appalachie Trails area near Saddle Rock. And the city of Wenatchee is reminding people to hold off on staking out their place on the Apple Blossom Parade route until next Thursday morning. I'm Grant Olson and you're watching the NCW Life Evening News. Arctic Refrigeration and Heating, serving North Central Washington, is proud to offer the finest heating and cooling air quality products along with prompt and professional customer service since 1984. Regardless of the temperature outside, Arctic is here for you. Arctic offers a variety of services, residential and commercial heating, air conditioning, commercial refrigeration, as well as planned fall and spring maintenance for the overall well-being of your system. Call Arctic Refrigeration and Heating for your heating and cooling needs. If you want to work in healthcare, choose the program that teaches the skills employers want. The Charter College Medical Assistant Program combines hands-on learning in the lab with convenient online learning, plus real-life experience with an externship. Classes start every five weeks, so you don't have to wait to launch your new career. Enroll with confidence, knowing Charter is institutionally accredited by the Accrediting Bureau of Health Education Schools. And be ready to work in less than a year. Charter College. We work to get you to work. I'm working today. I have got some work to do today. Don't forget, I've got some work for you today. Have a good first day at work, Mom. Thanks. Your donations to Goodwill fund job training programs right in our community. New beginnings feel great, don't they? Yes, they do. Be a job creator. Goodwill. There's more behind the store. Welcome back. In another news, if you see smoke in the ENIAT area tomorrow morning, don't worry. It's only a test burn to be conducted as live wildfire training for crews in Chelan County. The exercise is in conjunction with a meeting organized by the North County Cooperators, a group of local, state, and federal agencies in preparation for the upcoming fire season. Topics include structure protection, state mobilization, and a 2019 season outlook. The live fire exercise is scheduled for around 1 p.m. at the Columbia Breaks Wildfire Interpretive Center. That's along US 97A. Smoke will be visible in the ENIAT area. 
The Chelan County Volunteer Search and Rescue Organization will conduct field exercises from 8 a.m. to 4 p.m. tomorrow. That will be held in the Appalachie Trails area near the Saddle Rock Trailhead at 1130 Circle Street in Wenatchee. Training includes mock evidence and subject searches, litter handling, radio communications, and wilderness navigation using compass and global positioning system devices. The practical skill sessions will include Chelan County emergency management officials, dog teams, and limited all-terrain vehicle traffic. Well, the city of Wenatchee is reminding people to hold off on staking out their place on the Apple Blossom Parade route until next Thursday morning. Up until 2013, chairs would line sidewalks on Arondo Street east of Chelan Avenue, sometimes weeks and months before the first parade. But the city passed rules banning chairs until 48 hours before the youth parade. That means no chairs until Thursday at 7 a.m. You're watching the NCW Life Evening News. Coming up next, tonight's feature story and your complete local weather forecast. That and much more still to come on the NCW Life Evening News. Stay with us. I'm Tom from Alpine Air Heating and Cooling. At Alpine Air, we think of ourselves as customer service oriented retailers. When you make an appointment, please visit our store, meet our people, see our shop. We are serious about heating and air conditioning. Carrier and Alpine Air are offering huge factory rebates and financing options for all your needs. Turn to the experts at Carrier and Alpine Air. Call for your free replacement estimate. Heat and air, call Alpine Air. 662-6846. Dear Mary Maids, just got home from a trade show and I didn't have time to pick up the house. Kids made chili. Jeff did a mud run. Oh, and Winston shredded Teddy's bed. Again. Please clean it the best you can. Oh, except for the statue Max made for me. Thanks, Abby. Hi, Abby. Clean kitchen. Clean bath. Clean floor. Naughty cat. Poor Teddy. The statue is precious. You should keep it forever. See you next time, Mary Maids. Welcome back to the NCW Life Evening News. In tonight's feature story, with wildfire season right around the corner, Chelan County Fire District 8 in Eniat produced a re recruiting video seeking volunteer firefighters for the 2019 fire season. Take a look. Cut report of a structure fire, 215 North Huron Street. What is it to be a volunteer firefighter? Is it the gear? The training, the vehicles you learn to drive, the rush of adrenaline when you get that first call, the honor of protecting your community. Maybe it's all of it, but it comes with sacrifice. Time, energy, sweat, sometimes blood and even tears. You don't do this because it's easy. You don't do this for gratitude. You don't do this for fun. Every call may not be a victory. Sometimes you'll walk away wondering if you helped at all. But sometimes, sometimes, you will be a hero.
Time now for a check of your north central Washington weather forecast as we creep up on this Easter weekend. Before we get to those details, let's take a look at our SkyFi Tower camera from Apple Annie's above Kashmir. And you can see beautiful day all across north central Washington. Things are greening up nicely. Traffic along Highway 2. There's going to be a lot of that over this weekend because of the Easter holiday, of course, on Sunday. Travel conditions look just fantastic all over Washington State. We'll get to that in a second. But very mild temperatures today. Once again, we were above normal here in the Wenatchee area, unofficially at 68 degrees, just like we were yesterday. 63 is our normal high temperature for this time of year. 51 our overnight low. Once again, a very mild overnight low. 41 is where we should be, so 10 degrees above that. 82 degrees, our record high temperature. Do you remember it? Just three years ago in 2016, record low, 29 degrees. That was in 2008. We did pick up just a trace of precipitation overnight, and that still keeps us at 3.13 inches of moisture for the year. Sunrise this morning, 6.05, and the sun will set tonight at 7.56. Now let's get into that surface loop and show you what we can expect for our upcoming weekend. Tonight, mostly cloudy skies. We'll see west winds about 10 to 15. 15 miles an hour. You can see these isobars or barometric lines of pressure pretty tightly packed and that usually indicates a windy scenario. So we will see that tonight. Not so much for our uh, Saturday though. It looks like sunny skies, a northwest breeze out there. It will be mild. Here's our ridge of high pressure up and over at least western Washington. That will slide the ridge that is over the rest of the state as the time by the time we get into our Easter Sunday. It just couldn't be better. Sunny skies with temperatures in the upper 60s to lower 70s around the area for Monday as we kick off our next work week. We're staying with that nice weather, partly cloudy skies and mild. Our ridge will hold on for another day before another area of low pressure comes down and kind of squeezes down on that ridge, especially as we get into Tuesday. Partly cloudy skies, still warm next week, but by the time we go past Tuesday into Wednesday, looks like a good shot for some rain up to about an 80% chance of the wet stuff. But in the meantime, enjoy this beautiful weather. Let's take a look at your quick lube and tune forecast now, and it is great as we head into the upcoming Easter weekend. 47 our overnight low tonight. Saturday to kick off our weekend, 68 degrees, 70, maybe a little bit higher than that even for Sunday. Still warm for Monday, partly cloudy skies next week. We'll stay that way on Tuesday and into Wednesday with temperatures in the lower 70s, and we're going to go all the way to next Thursday with sunshine, mild weather conditions, high temperatures then at 60. 69 degrees. And that's a look at your local weather forecast coming up next tonight's sports report with Eric Grandstrom and more as the NCW Life Evening News continues right after this. It's estimated that one third of Americans do not have a financial plan. At DA Davidson, their advisors are working to change that because they understand the importance of planning for the future. At DA Davidson, they believe in partnering together to build a strategy tailored to your needs. They spend the time and have the knowledge to help keep your financial future on track. Let DA Davidson Financial Advisors of Wenatchee put the strength of advice to work for you. You don't have to be a member to enjoy the view and dine in style at Highlander Bar and Grill in East Wenatchee. Open seven days a week, Highlander Grill offers breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Dine in or take it to go, our friendly staff is here to serve you. Reservations recommended for Friday night's prime rib dinner. Call for live music dates. Hi, I'm Shalane, site coordinator for Highlander Grill. Give me a call to schedule your event today. Moving doesn't have to be back-breaking, stressful work. And I don't want you to make a move that way ever again. Traditionally, you would rent a truck. You would load up your stuff. You would rent a storage unit. You would transport it. And finally, you would unload your stuff yourself. You don't have to lift a finger. We bring the mobile storage unit to you. We drop it off. Then one of our trusted packers can load it for you. We come pick it up and store it securely for you. We bring it back to you. No hassle, no stress. And now, it's a sports update on the NCW Life Channel. 
And a happy Friday to you. Well, the Mariners, interesting one last night. They blew a 10-2 lead in Anaheim, but somehow managed to come back and win it 11-10 on Jay Bruce's RBI single in the top of the ninth. Seattle built an early lead in this one with a three-run homer and a two-run shot by Ryan Healy, as well as a three-run home run by Omar Navarez. Meanwhile, Felix Hernandez looked like the old King Felix on the mound, cruising through the first six innings, allowing just two runs on seven hits and three strikeouts. But then came the seventh. Hernandez was pulled after giving up a leadoff RBI RBI single and an RBI double are replaced by RJ Alanez. Uh, Los Angeles tagged him for a two run home run by Cole Calhoun. RBI doubles and a two run single before being replaced. Brandon Brandon came in, threw a wild pitch to score another run. Seven runs scored in the seventh. Seattle's lead shrunk 10 9. Then David Fletcher homered off the first or make that second pitch thrown by Anthony Swarzak in the eighth. That tied the game at 10. In the ninth, Mitch Hanniger got aboard on a one-out single, then stole second with two outs. Bruce followed a walk to Edwin Encarnacion with an RBI single. That scored Hanniger. M's win it 11-10. Rowena Salias worked the four batters in the ninth to earn his third save. Interesting, yes. The six-game losing streak comes to an end. Mariners continue that series tonight in Anaheim. 7.07 start time. Marco Gonzalez going up against Felix Pena. Well, the Seahawks are out with their 2019 preseason and regular season schedules. We talked about this yesterday, but worth showing you again. We're just 111 days away from Seattle's first preseason game at CenturyLink Field. They'll play Denver on August 8th. Then Minnesota the 18th on the road. They'll be on the road to take on the Chargers in L.A. the 24th and then finish the preseason against Against Oakland the 29th. By the way, Seahawks are not selling tickets, but everybody else is. Uh, even made a phone call into the season ticket holder office yesterday at, uh, for the Seahawks, and they said, well, they're not for sale yet. Well, Everybody else is selling them, so I'm not sure what's happening with the Seahawks themselves. The regular season starts on September 9th against Cincinnati. Hawks will play, of course, uh, 16 games, eight home, eight on the road, wrapping things up on December 29th against San Francisco. Uh, by the way, the Seahawks have a series of four games in a row where they'll be on national TV. You can find out more about the season and about tickets possibly at Seahawks.com. All right, turning to local sports, Cascade Boys soccer team took a big step towards the Caribou Trail League title last night with a 1-0 win over Cashmere. The Kodiaks improved to 5-0 and in league play with a win, while the Bulldogs fell to 5-2, and and they only have one league match remaining. Chelan solidified itself in third place with a 2-1 win over OMAC. On the Les Schwab Prep baseball scoreboard yesterday, Chelan remained unbeaten in CTL play with a 15-2 win over Cascade. Waterville Mansfield's two-game winning streak came to an end with a non-league 20 to seven loss to Elmira Cooley Heartline. The Waterville Mansfield girls winning streak reached four games yesterday with a sweep of Soap Lake. Shockers won the opener 17 zip and took the nightcap 11 to one. On the Les Schwab prep tennis scoreboard from yesterday, West Valley swept Eastmont 6-1 on the boys side, seven zip on the girls side. Cashmere boys beat Cascade five nothing. No girls score turned in and Chelan boys swept OMAC. It was a 3-2 for the girls, five nothing for the boys. East Montreal teams fared well in a big night meet yesterday at Zephyl Stadium in Yakima. Wildcat boys came out on top of Davis and Moses Lake, but were edged by Eisenhower. East Mont girls showed well, downing Davis, but falling to Ike and Moses Lake. All right, very busy prep schedule starting tonight with soccer. East Mont hosts Wenatchee in the Battle of the Bridge. 7 o'clock start time at Wildcat Stadium. Be sure and tune in right here. Sebastian Moraga and Matt Wisen have the play-by-play -play here on the NCW Life Channel. Coming up tomorrow, Brewster hosts Cashmere while Pateras plays plays Manson at 11, then at 1, it's Lakeside Nine Miles Fall at Chelan. Wenatchee hosts a doubleheader in Big Nine Baseball this afternoon at Rec Park against the Moses Lake Chiefs. Uh, that's uh, already underway. In fact, Game 2 just moments away. Tomorrow, there's uh, four doubleheaders with Okanagan hosting Cashmere. Manson's at Bridgeport. Liberty Bell hosts Waterville Mansfield at 11. Then at noon, it's Overlake at Cascade. High school softball today. Wenatchee's on the road at Moses Lake for a couple of games. Tomorrow, Cashmere hosts Okanagan in a double header at 11. Manson's at Bridgeport for two games at 11. It's an 11 o'clock start time in Winthrop as Liberty Bell takes on Waterville Mansfield in the first of two games. Chelan also hosting a doubleheader against Nooksack Valley that begins at 1 o'clock.
The Wenatchee Valley boys uh, lacrosse team has a couple of games over the next two days. They'll travel to Hermiston tonight for a 7 o'clock game and they'll host Stanwood tomorrow at Lee Bofto Field in the Apple Bowl at 2 o'clock. Uh, some large track meets going on the docket tomorrow as well. Wenatchee will be in Walla Walla for the Blue Devils Legends Invite at 1030. Cascade Cashmere and a host of other schools will play on the plateau in the Quincy Invite also at 1030. Chelan will be over in Snohomish for the Nike Eason Invitational at 11. Then at noon, Eastmont and a bunch of other teams will be assembling at Lake Stevens for the Viking Classic. Well, after a week off, the Wenatchee Valley Skyhawks are back at it to an America West Football Conference indoor football. Wenatchee Valley plays at Reno. They'll play the Express tomorrow night at 6 o'clock. Wenatchee Marathon highlights the weekend of sports scheduled tomorrow in downtown Wenatchee. There's a full marathon, a half marathon, a 10K for both runners and walkers. Uh, starts and finishes at the Pack Plaza. Also, they'll be using the Apple Capital Loop Trail, so be on the lookout out for runners and walkers there. Senior Softball League has its kickoff tournament tomorrow and Sunday at Walla Walla Point Park. And the annual Walk MS to find a cure for multiple sclerosis happening tomorrow at noon at Walla Walla Point Park. Have a great weekend. That's sports. Grant, back to you. Thank you, Eric. And finally tonight, here's NCW Life's Megan McPherson to fill us in on some of the events going on this weekend. Here's a look at what's on tap this weekend around the Wenatchee Valley. This Saturday is the sustainable Wenatchee Earth Day Fair from 10 to 2 in the local Tell Event Center at Pibus Public Market. The fair features nearly 20 educational and interactive booths from a variety of local organizations, plus fun kids activities. Learn about the NCW Eco Challenge and get registered. Screen print a There Is No Planet B Saddle Rock t-shirt. Bring your own to screen print or buy a new eco-friendly shirt. Get free drip coffee from Cafe Columbia, but only if you bring your own cup. You can also check out one of the six short presentations at the Pibus Kitchen throughout the day. Join the Wenatchee River Institute this Saturday in a cleanup of the Wenatchee River to celebrate Earth Day. Everyone will meet at 347 Division Street in Leavenworth at 1030 a.m. and will work for about two hours to remove garbage from along the riverfront trail and riverbank. A limited supply of gloves are available. Chelan is hosting their own Earth Day Fair on Saturday from 10 to 4 at Riverwalk Park. There will be exhibitors, entertainment, free children's activities, arts and crafts, food, and lots more. Walk MS is this Saturday at Walla Walla Point Park. Walk MS teams up with friends, loved ones, and co-workers to change the world for everyone affected by multiple sclerosis. The ceremony starts at noon with the walk kicking off at 1 p.m. The walk is four miles total if you do the whole thing or you can choose to walk two miles or you may even choose not to walk at all and wait for everyone at the finish line. Register online. And finally, the Apple Blossom Festival 100-year documentary premiere is this Saturday night at 7 at the Numerica Performing Arts Center. The Apple Blossom Festival is celebrating its 100th anniversary in 2019 and is producing a documentary film presented by Stemilt Growers as a way to honor this milestone. Wenatchee's own North 40 Productions is responsible for production of the feature film. The documentary follows the 2018 Apple Blossom royalty selection process as well as the events of the 2018 festival. It provides the opportunity to conduct extensive research into the Wenatchee Valley's history in respect to the Apple Blossom Festival, tracking its evolution from 1920 to present day. The film also pays tribute to the people who started the festival and all those who have been involved in the last hundred years. Get your tickets at numericapack.org. For more information on this weekend's events and others, visit the community calendar at ncwlife.com. And that's going to do it for our newscast tonight. For more on these stories and other news from around North Central Washington, you can find us on Facebook or our website at ncwlife.com. And remember, if you see news happening, we'd like to hear from you. You can send us an email at news at ncwlife.com or give us a call at 888-6295. Also, keep it right here on the NCW Life channel Monday morning for Wake Up Wenatchee Valley with host Dan Koontz. I'm Grant Olson. Thanks for joining us and have a great Easter weekend. CW Live Channel is your home for local news, local weather, and events including live local high school sports. Watch inspiring local shows featuring local people. Don't miss Wake Up Wenatchee Valley. Let's learn. Guada TV. Street Talk and Other Stuff. The 12th District. Life with Lisa.
and the arbiter of Stoke. And CW Life Channel is your local TV station. There's no substitute for the power of cable TV advertising. With solely on cable TV advertising, you can reach your target audience right here in North Central Washington. We understand their viewing habits and can precisely target your customers on great cable networks like these. Call Solely on Broadcasting today and let us show you how to put your business message right in front of thousands of prospects at a very affordable price. Solely on Broadcasting, 509-888-2020. Hey there, Wenatchee. I'm Sean Lee, and I'm inviting you to check out the NCW Movie Guide to keep up on what movies are playing in our town. Get the fastest internet available in North Central Washington by switching to Localtel and get speeds up to 1,000 meg. Call 888-8888 today or go online to localtel.net.